Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the greatest Android tutorial series on planet Earth. Alright, so this episode we're going to be talking about logging. It's really super simple, but it's actually kind of cool because it gives you some kind of categorization capabilities. So basically what we're going to be doing is the equivalent of a console log in Java or a console.write line in C sharp or a whatever it's called in all these other languages. Basically, how can we write to the console for our sake for debugging or just following along with what's going on in the application? Or if, you know, if we want to log if things were successful or a failure or whatever it might be. Well, it's real simple. All you gotta do is say log.d. And this is gonna take two arguments and you will need to import android.util.log. As you can see, I did there. So the first thing is kind of like the, the category or, you know, what what you might categorize it as, which is what I just said. So we'll just say um, success. And then comma, this is where we put a message. So we can say button disabled or whatever we want to say right there. Now, when we run this, let me stop right there. Where exactly does this information come up? Well, it's actually in this log cat down here in the bottom left hand corner. If you're not seeing that, just go up here to the windows and scroll around, try to find it, maybe do a search. I guess I don't really know where it is right off hand. So tools, view, and then tool windows, and then log cat. So that's how you find it. All right, now when you see this at first, there's just gonna be an over, an overabundance of information, way too much. And it's hard to actually see what's going on. So what we can do is we can actually search for our tag right here. So we will say success. And I'm not seeing anything. Okay, uh, that means we actually need to Let's see. Uh, we need to make sure we are on the right device here because uh, it looks like this one here was disconnected for some reason. And there we go. So we get button disabled. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know why that one is here. Um, I only see one option up here. But anyways, you can search for your tag there to clean up the messages because you can see there can be quite a lot. So if you want to see all of the success ones, you can do that. If you have other ones that say fail, so you could put one on the on create. Obviously this one's kind of a lie because it actually is working just fine, but we'll just pretend. All right, so we will run this. And now we can filter for fail. And you can see it shows up right there. Now it did catch a couple of other things like failed to do something here and failed here. So if you want to make sure that doesn't happen, just make sure you give your tag name something unique enough so that it doesn't show up when you're searching for it. So that's how you can do that. You could say fail or you could search success. And now it's only going to show up when we uh, select a button. So there we go. Thank you guys for watching. That's your basics of logging for Android. And if you have any questions, unless the question is why it's called logcat and log.d, because I have no idea. So maybe you guys can help me there. Why is it log.d and logcat? Thank you guys, and be sure to subscribe and check out the next episode. Peace out.